What if the universe you're living in isn't the only one? No, this isn't an episode of Star Trek, and it's not a wild internet theory either. We are talking about a serious unsolved cosmic puzzle. One that starts with a force no one fully understands, dark energy. It's invisible, it's everywhere, and it's accelerating the expansion of our universe, but what if that's not all it's doing? What if dark energy isn't just a strange quirk of physics? What if it's a clue, a gravitational ripple from another universe pressing against ours? For decades, scientists thought the universe was coasting. Expanding, yes, but gradually slowing down after the Big Bang. Then came the 1990s and everything changed. Two competing teams studying distant supernovae made the same stunning discovery. The universe isn't slowing down, it's speeding up. Something, some unknown force is pushing galaxies apart faster and faster. So they gave it a name, Dark Energy, the placeholder for whatever this thing is. Now here is where it gets strange. This mysterious force accounts for nearly 70% of everything in the cosmos. And yet, we don't know what it is, what it's made of, or where it comes from. That's where the multiverse steps in. A growing number of physicists believe that dark energy might not be of our universe, but from the outside. Leaking through from a neighboring dimension, or left over from collisions between universes in a far bigger multiverse. If that sounds insane, consider this. Many of the leading theories in modern physics, string theory, inflation, quantum mechanics, all make room for parallel universes. In fact, some of them require it. So tonight we are going to follow the trail of dark energy, from its discovery to the edge of science itself. And by the end of this video, you might start to wonder, are we alone in the universe? Or are we just one bubble in an infinite cosmic foam? Let's find out. Let's rewind back to the early 1990s. Cosmologists believed they had the universe mostly figured out. The Big Bang sent everything flying outward, gravity's been slowing it down ever since. Maybe even enough to reverse it one day in a big crunch. The debate wasn't about whether the universe was slowing down, but by how much. Then something strange happened. Two teams of astronomers, one led by Saul Perlmutter and the other by Brian Schmidt and Adam Rees, were independently studying Type 1a supernovae. These stellar explosions act like cosmic mile markers, incredibly bright, consistently measurable and found in distant galaxies, perfect for calculating how fast the universe was expanding over time. But when they started comparing distances to redshift data, the numbers didn't make sense. The supernovae weren't just far away, they were too far as if the expansion of the universe had accelerated in the time it took their light to reach us. It was the opposite of what everyone expected. And it wasn't a fluke. Both teams found the same results. In 1998, they made it public. The universe is not slowing down. It's speeding up. Something, some unknown force, is fighting gravity and winning. It was a shockwave through the world of physics. To explain this invisible phenomenon, scientists coined a placeholder name, Dark Energy. Dark because it doesn't emit any light. Energy because, well, it's doing something. But what it really is, it's still a mystery. Here is the crazy part. Based on everything we can measure, this Dark Energy isn't a small side character in the story of the universe. It's the main one. Roughly 70% of the universe's total mass energy content is this mysterious force. Matter, the stuff we see, touch, build telescopes from, barely makes up 5%. The rest, dark matter and dark energy. And yet, dark energy doesn't act like anything we've seen before. It doesn't clump together like matter. It doesn't slow down. It seems to have a constant energy density, meaning the more space expands, the more dark energy there is. Expansion feeds itself. That alone is wild. But some scientists began asking, what if this isn't a quirk of physics within our universe? What if it's a sign of something beyond it? And if that's true, then everything we thought we knew about reality might be just one version of an even stranger story. If you're enjoying diving into the unknown with me today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel grow and tells the algorithm you like the content that actually makes you think. Smash that like button if you learned something new 
and share this video with a fellow space nerd or conspiracy theorist and let's get the conversation going. And if you want to go even deeper, join our growing community on Reddit and Discord. Links are waiting for you down in the description. Now, back to the video. If dark energy is real, and all our best evidence says it is, then what exactly is it doing? We know it's accelerating the expansion of the universe. We know it acts on a scale far beyond galaxies, black holes, and even the cosmic web itself. But why it exists? That's where things get speculative and fascinating. Because some physicists believe dark energy might not originate inside of our universe at all. It might be bleeding in from another one. That's the foundation of the multiverse theory, the idea that our universe is just one of many. Not metaphorically, literally. A single bubble in a vast cosmic sea of other bubble universes. Each one born from its own Big Bang, each one with its own laws of physics. Some might look like ours, others could be entirely different. And dark energy? It might be the aftershock of our universe colliding with another one or the gravitational residue of universes forming around us. It sounds wild, but there is real science behind it. In fact, some of the most accepted theories in modern cosmology require something like a multiverse to make the math work. Take inflation theory, for example. The idea that the universe expanded faster than the speed of light just fractions of a second after the Big Bang. According to some models, inflation doesn't stop completely. It just slows down in certain places, like ours, creating isolated pockets of space where physics stabilizes and the universe can form. That process is called eternal inflation. And the result? An infinite number of universes constantly popping into existence in different parts of the inflating field. Then there is string theory, a theoretical framework that tries to unify all known forces of nature. But it only works if there are more than three dimensions of space. Like 10 or 11. That's led to ideas like the brain multiverse, where our entire universe is a three-dimensional membrane floating in a higher dimensional space. And guess what? If another brain gets too close to ours, it could trigger events that feel a lot like dark energy. In both cases, the force we call dark energy might not be a feature of our own universe. It could be a sign of interaction, a hint that the fabric of reality is much bigger than we imagined and far more connected than we ever thought possible. Let's be honest, multiverse sounds more like a Marvel storyline than a real scientific concept. And yet, some of the most serious physicists in the world are entertaining it. Why? Because even if we can't see other universes, there are strange clues in our own that just don't seem to fit. Unless something else is out there. Let's start with the CMB cold spot. That's the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang, and it's supposed to be relatively uniform. Tiny fluctuations? Sure. But in 2004, astronomers found a massive cold region in the southern hemisphere of the CMB. Too big, too cold, too statistically unlikely to ignore. Some scientists think it's a fluke. Others say it could be the scar of a collision with another universe, like two bubbles bumping into each other in the early moments of the cosmic inflation. If that sounds speculative, it is. But that hasn't stopped physicists from running simulations to test the possibility. And the numbers? Let's just say they are interesting. Then there is vacuum energy, the idea that even empty space isn't really empty. According to the quantum field theory, space is buzzing with energy, particles blinking in and out of existence. The math suggests this vacuum energy should be way higher than what we observe. This discrepancy is known as the cosmological constant problem, and it's one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in physics. One possible explanation? We live in a universe where the vacuum energy just happens to be low enough to allow stars, galaxies and life to form but that's only possible if there are many universes with different values. In other words, the multiverse acts like a cosmic lottery. We exist in a winning ticket. Still, not everyone is convinced. Many physicists argue that multiverse theories can be tested so they don't belong in science. After all, how do you observe a universe you can never access? How do you experiment with something that by definition is beyond our own space-time? It's a fair criticism. And yet, dark energy is real. The expansion is accelerating, and the more we measure it, with missions like DESI, Euclid, and Nancy Grace Roman, 
the more we are forced to confront how little we understand. So we are left with a choice. Either dark energy is a bizarre quirk of our own universe, or it's a shadow of something far larger. So let's suspend the disbelief for a moment. Assume the multiverse is real. Assume dark energy is the evidence, the echo of unseen realities bleeding into our own. What does that mean for us? It means we are not alone. Not just in the sense of alien civilizations in our own universe, but in a much deeper, weirder way. Our entire reality may be one of an infinite number. An experiment, a fluctuation, or a byproduct of something bigger than we've ever imagined. And those other universes, they might follow rules we can't even begin to understand. Some might be frozen seconds after their birth. Others might never be allowed matter to form. Some could be teeming with life, not carbon-based like ours, but silicon-based or something stranger. Imagine a universe where time flows in reverse, or one where gravity pushes away instead of attracting, or one where stars never formed, and the entire cosmos is a dark, empty ocean of energy. In this scenario, the multiverse isn't just a background. It's the main stage, and our universe? One scene in an endless cosmic play. The implications are massive. If dark energy is the force pushing our universe outward, maybe it's also a wall. A boundary, a pressure point caused by other expanding universes on all sides. That would make our own universe a kind of a cosmic bubble caught in a chaotic form of inflation. But here is the existential twist. If there really are infinite universes, then there is also a version of you watching this video in another reality. Maybe a version of you who became an astronaut, or one who never existed at all. In a multiverse, everything that can happen, does. Now, let's go even deeper. If dark energy is a product of this multiversal structure, could it be manipulated? Could advanced civilizations, far beyond our own, learn to tap into it? Could they travel not just across space, but between universes? There are even fringe theories suggesting that birth of new universes can be engineered. That black holes might spawn baby universes on the other side. That our universe might itself be the offspring of an ancient civilization's experiment. It's speculative. It's out there. It's unproven. But the physics, in some model, checks out. And so we are left standing at the edge of reality looking into the cosmic abyss where dark energy might be more than just a force. It may be a message. So, what is dark energy? A mysterious force pushing galaxies apart? A placeholder for something we can't explain? Or could it be something far stranger? A cosmic fingerprint left by a neighboring universe? We still don't have a definitive answer. But the possibilities we've explored tonight reveal just how little we truly know about the universe we live in, and how much more might be out there. Think about it. Over 13 billion years ago, the universe exploded into being. In a fraction of a second, space inflated, time began, and the laws of physics snapped into place. But why these specific laws? Why this configuration? Why this precise balance that allows galaxies, stars, planets, and life? One explanation is randomness, another is design. But the multiverse? It offers a third possibility, natural variation. If there are infinite universes, each with different properties, then it's no surprise that one of them, ours, ended up being just right for the life to emerge and ask these very questions. And maybe dark energy is the clue that ties it all together. A whisper from beyond the cosmic curtain. A clue that our universe is just one part of a much larger puzzle. Of course, many scientists are cautious. Without testable predictions or ways to falsify the idea, the multiverse sits on the edge of science and philosophy. But here is the thing. Science has always danced on the edge of the unknown. That's where all the best discoveries come from. Once the idea of galaxies beyond the Milky Way was unthinkable, then we saw them. Once, the Big Bang was just a radical theory. Now it's the foundation of modern cosmology. Today, the multiverse may seem far-fetched, but maybe, just maybe, we are standing at the edge of another revolution. So, what do you think? Is dark energy just a weird quirk of our own universe, or is it the gravitational residue of realities beyond our own? 
Let me know in the comments and if you want more deep dives into the cosmos, the science, the mysteries, the what ifs, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We've got a universe of questions to explore. Thank you for watching. Keep looking up.